what is up I know I'm a little low here uh, thank you all so much for coming back to my channel or thank you if you are new for joining in my name is Megan um, I work straight nights at a hospital I'm a nurse and then I also have two toddlers so I like to make a lot of these like homemaking videos decor videos get it all done videos decorating whatever whatever your mommying needs are I have them so for today's video, we are going to be decorating for Halloween. Um, I didn't even bother decorating for fall. It's already mid-September. I don't know what got into me because I'm usually well decorated for fall by now. And then Halloween, I usually start um, very end of September or at least like October 1st, like at the latest. So today I've decided that I'm just going to do all of it in one. I'm going to put out all the fall, all the Halloween. It's mid-September. But that's what I'm feeling. And sometimes you just have to go with how you feel and not with what everybody else is doing. So I'm dressed for the occasion. I got this shirt on Amazon. It's actually like, it's pretty cute. It's um, got these like chubby little fluffy black cats, some pumpkins, pretty cute. Um, maybe a little small. I think this is an extra large and I mean, I don't have a lot of room in it. So thanks for joining. Please like, subscribe, and let's get started. So I'm just going to begin by putting my Halloween mugs into the cupboard. Uh, I later found out that this was only my first box. I found a second box later in the basement. I know I have a problem, but look at them. They are just way too cute and addicting. As far as new decorations go for this year, this is actually all I bought. Everything else that I've been decorating with are things that I've already had laying around the house. So these adorable pillowcases are just from Amazon, uh, super inexpensive, and they came in this four pack. These kitchen towels are just from HomeSense. These adorable measuring cups, these are from Michaels. I bought them when they were 40 or 50% off. This little pumpkin, how cute is that? Little monsters live here, very accurate. Uh, this is a brie dish. I do not like brie, but I love the dish, so I will find something else to put in it. Some Ray Dunn, of course. I love these iridescent pumpkins. These wood pumpkins I just got from Walmart, super inexpensive as well. They were just $6.98 each. This little boo planter, I got this from HomeSense as well. And then the harvest, I didn't actually end up using this, but I got this at um, a random little antique store close to home. Okay, so I just have to begin by clearing up my spring ray done, just like that. Decorating this hutch is one of my favorite things to do with each holiday. Halloween, Christmas, spring, I absolutely love it. I just can't seem to get over it.
very inexpensive way to decorate is to fill up one of these cookie jars using this tinsel garland. This garland cost me 98 cents and I've been using it for a few years now. just wanted to show you guys you can stack these small measuring cups by putting in some toilet paper rolls that you've cut into like little one inch slivers. Okay, I know I'm completely ridiculous, but I was like hardcore jamming out to some really good tunes while I was decorating and he just happened to be there doing a really good part. So uh, I made a new friend today. <laughs> She's done. I gotta find my fall flowers to put it. <laughs> Excuse you. This little bugger literally just jumped ship. So I am just gonna get some fresh tape and I will put him right back there. Yeah, he's gonna jump again. Ignore him. So yeah, it's pretty busy, but that's how I like this hutch to be. Got my Halloween mixing bowls. Now in the back there, those are window clings. Um, last year I had crows that were actually on a white sticker and they worked amazing, but I could not find them this year. So I was at the store last night, the dollar store, and I just found these window clings and I just put a piece of um, duct tape behind them. And I wasn't planning on doing like an actual, I don't know, person back there, but okay, that's cool. Anyways, here we go. And this stuff, this is just like a cheap way to like fill the space because I don't want the bottom to be bare. This is a candle. It smells so strong. So I've moved it to like the front entrance. So hopefully it will just be like dispersed. And then another cheap way to make things look spooky is just go to like the dollar store and just get a pack of bugs for like whatever, one or two dollars and just tape them around. There's more of those window clings. This is just from the dollar store that pull apart cobwebs. I wanted like 
it to look like a bug was crawling out of his mouth, but it looks like he's smoking. <laughs> Whatever you do in your free time, bud, you go ahead. I, I don't judge. These are cute. So these are new this year. I just got these at Michael's when they were 40 or 50% off. These, um, I had a whole uh, lot of them. It's, they spelled out beware when they were all together, but I've broke half of them over the years. So now I just use a couple and turn them over. Cheap way to fill a vase is again, just that like 98 cent, um, like garland type stuff from Walmart or the dollar store. Th these ones came from Walmart. So yeah, that's it. These are some Halloween measuring spoons. They have skulls on the other side down there. I love walking in from my door and seeing this. So cool. This whole part of my dining room is done. Oh my gosh, I love it. Obsessed, 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 obsessed. In case you didn't hear me, obsessed. And then just some little flowers in there. Oh my gosh, I apologize for the lighting here. I know that this is terrible. I thought about closing the blinds before I filmed this part, but I just didn't. It looked like it was okay on the, um, I don't know, like the little proof screen there when I was filming. I should have known better, but this is just a really small clip, so just bear with me.
absolutely love this like spider web looking fireplace mantle cover. I was gonna try and tuck it under the TV. Well, I was actually gonna try and pull the gray plaid one down, but I could not lift that TV by myself and I was not about to risk dropping it. So I just decided to lay this one on top and you know what, I'm fine with that. Now I'm just gonna swap out some of my regular summer decor for some fall and Halloween up here. This is in the loft above Cora's cage, our rabbit. I'm just going to clean the top of this shelf and then set out some of my Harry Potter decor. I just decided last year that I needed to have like a little spot for this stuff and I love it. It was in a different spot last year, but this was the only place I had room for it this year, which is fine. And then I'm going to hang our massive spiders on top of the kids play shelf from Ikea. I did not think I would be able to reach them, but I did and I'm quite proud as you'll see in just a second. So the last thing I'm going to do is just use some painter's tape to hang up these um, like paper back cutouts. I bought these at the dollar store a handful of years ago and I just keep them and reuse them every year. They're amazing, they hold up perfectly. I just peel the tape off the back when I'm done at the end of the season and store them away. I love putting them on this little wall. I think they just create the perfect little Halloween effect and the girls love it.
right guys and here is our last little montage of everything um, this was so much fun to do I love decorating for the holidays I have always been this way and I hope that I always will be this way thank you all so much for watching thank you to those of you that have made it this far it means so much to me please 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 like and subscribe and stick around um, you guys motivate me to keep going and I love that so Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.